Hey guys, let's do some reading, shall we? I believe we shall. Before we get started, I want to let you know that today you're going to be doing some writing with me. You're going to be writing some short e eh words and some long e, e words. So you're going to need a pencil and a piece of paper. You can go get one some right now. Pause it. Freeze me. Uh, while you go get it, or you can pick it up in a minute because first I'm going to show you these new phonograms. So be around here. I don't want to do that one first. Let's go with, uh, let's go a little bit of a better order here. Look at this. Yeah, you know what that says, don't you? It says E. E. If you ever see two E's next to each other, man, the only thing they're going to say is E. E. Everybody say that with me. E. Okay. Now, we worked on this sound. We know this sound. It says ng. Ng. And when I say the ng sound, I point to my nose because it's kind of in the back of the throat. It goes through, the sound comes up through your nose. Ng. And we know if there's an I in front of this ng, the I isn't going to say i. It's going to say e. Ng. Like swing. And if there is an O in front of it, it's going to say ah, song. But if they put an A in front of it instead of ah, it's more of an A sound, like sang. Okay? So this is ng. You know the sound? We had several tricky words that begin with this sound. It says wha, wha. And the sign for this is so that you can hear because I kind of blow some air out when I say wha. Put a hand in front of my mouth like this. Okay. This is k. Whenever you say a c, a c and a k together, you know that it says k. And I think I told you the story about how k doesn't trust short vowels at a, 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 a or a. So it always gets c to stand there, so it doesn't have to say it stand next to the the uh, short vowel. That's a little story I tell anyway, but this says k. The only sound CK says is k. This is an interesting one. Um, this is the ED sound that goes at the end of words, and there's three different ways this one can sound. Ed, it can say ed, or it can say d, or it can say t. And so we say, when we see this one, we say ed, d, t. Ed, d, t. Okay? Let's go through them all again. E. Ng. K. And ed, d, t. Those are new phonograms. We'll pull out all of them together. Okay? Now, let's take a look at these three cards. This is the tricky word we learned yesterday. It says he. Not very tricky in my opinion. Pretty easy. He. This one says she. She. And this one says we. We. He. She. We. Okay, now I'm going to slide these cards randomly into my stack of all these tricky words we've said. Why don't you read these for me, okay? The was are no says were two here, all, oh, there's we, where, why, so, once, when, from, word, which he what 
of I there said one she uh easy peasy last one's uh that was nice okay you got your piece of paper if you don't push pushy posy 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 and go get a pencil and a piece of paper i want you to write these don't just sit like a lump on a log and watch me do this i want you interacting i can see you out there i can see you just sitting there go get a pencil come on all right you got a pencil you got a piece of paper here we go the first word i want you to write is seed seed think of the sounds s s e d seed okay if you need more time you can always pause right i'm going to write the word seed if you made any mistakes or need to make any fixes you can do that on your paper okay this is how we spell seed s e d did you make your d go the right way seed okay the next word i want you to write is shed shed write it underneath it shed sh e d shed this is the way shed looks here's the sh sound e d shed all right next word i want you to write is feet 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 by the way there's 10 words just in case you're curious about that don't say hip hip hooray feet e t feet remember you can push pause if you need more time and fix your mistakes. If you didn't quite get it right, you can fix it. E. T. There's feet. Okay. Next word I want you to write is then. 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 See what then looks like. N, right? Eh. This time we got an eh sound. N, then. Okay. The next word I want you to write, number five, is cheek. 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 Like this part of your body. Cheek. E -k cheek. Do you remember the ch sound? Here's the ch sound. Ch. And then we got E, so we got to get two E's in there, right? Now, some of you might have written, written a CK just like the phonogram card we just learned, right? But no, we don't need a C and a K because K doesn't mind long vowels. E, it would, if it was check, it would be with a CK. But in this one, it's just a K. We usually don't have C at the end of words. There's not uh, many English words that have K, I mean C at the end of them. But there, we usually throw a K at the end. There's cheek. Okay, number six, shelf. This has four sounds in it. Shelf. We have five letters. Shelf. Sh. Eh. O. F. Shelf. Here we go. Here's the sh. And we got eh. O. Did you hear the o sound in there? And then f at the end. Shelf. Shelf. Okay? Next word I want you to write is queen. Queen, back to three sounds, but there's going to be five letters still. Qu, 
E. Mm, queen. All right, let's take a look at this. You can make your cue with a little tail at the end of it, right? This is the quasem. We always write Q U. E. Mm. Queen. Queen. All right. Your next word is meat. Meat. One day we will meet again, right? Mm. Eat. Three sounds, four letters. Neat. Mm. E. T. Meat. Now, if you're talking about meat that we like to eat, it's spelled a different way with an E and an A. Okay, next word I want you to do is met. Oh, well, that's going to be easy, right? Met. Met. We just did these sounds. Mm. Eh. T. Met. Mm. Eh. Oh, I forgot to go. Mm. Et. Sorry. Met. Okay. Last word. Sheep. Like Lee the sheep. Sheep. Sh. E. P. Just three sounds. It's going to be five letters. Sheep. 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 All right, how'd you do? Make sure you fix all your mistakes, okay, so that all your words are written the way they're supposed to be spelled, okay? You got one worksheet for, to do with me today. Remember we read red ants yesterday? This is the comprehension sheet about red ants. It's got three questions where you just have to fill in the little blank about red ants. If you can't remember that story, go back to um, day 149 reading, and I read the story with you guys then, red ants, or you can find the PDF and read that. There's more on the back, yay! We gotta, uh, there's, you gotta um, write uh, an answer to this question, and then here's a place for you to draw a picture of those red ants, maybe munching on uh, Lee the sheep's feet. Ouch. And then write a sentence that goes here. Now, when you write your phrase here, I don't care about capitals and punctuation marks, but down here, make sure that your sentence begins with a capital letter and ends with a stop sign. Okay? That's it for reading today. We're all done. I'll see you for math later on. Bye-bye.